Ever wish you could go snowboarding without being cold and possibly injuring yourself? Well now you can with this cool snowboarding game in which a snowboarder flies down a mountain avoiding obstacles. So watch this video to learn how to make your own. So first we're going to draw the background which is just the sky in the mountain. Then we'll make a snowboarder who can move around when you tilt your iPad. And then we'll make obstacles that pass her by so she can avoid them. So let's dive in. So you're in the editor. If you don't see characters on the right, then tap on that plus symbol next to play and they'll appear. And now you can pick any character you want to be your background artist and drag them out. You could even use a text object if you want, but I'm going to pick Bird because she likes to draw. And what she'll do in this project is draw the background, first the sky, then the mountain, and then she'll disappear so that the snowboarder can ride down it. So let's give her a new rule. So tap on New Rule, and now we're in the Whens menu, and you want to pick when the play button is tapped, which just means when the project is started. So first we're going to draw the sky, and the way we draw anything in Hopscotch is by leaving a trail which you can find in your drawing menu, which is that purple tab. So drag out a leave a trail block, which just means that within this block, anywhere bird moves, a line will be drawn behind her. So in this case, she would be leaving a dark purple trail that's 10 wide and 300 long. So in order to make the sky, we need to make the whole screen blue. So let's change the color of this leave a trail to blue and the width to something crazy big, like 9 trillion and let's make the length just one. So we're basically just making a giant dot. So let's see what that looks like. Nice. Now let's draw our mountain. So the way we'll do that is by first having Bird start down here in the bottom left part of the screen and then turning 40 degrees so that she's pointing to the top right side and then she's going to draw a thick white line up to the opposite corner and then another thick white line going down to fill out the bottom so that all of this is white. So first let's put Bird in a precise spot so she's ready to draw. So in order to do that we use the set position block which is under movement. And we're going to set it to 200 by 0. So these two spots are coordinates. The first is the X coordinate which means where Bird is on the left right axis. And the second is the Y coordinate which means up and down and so 200 means she's 200 pixels from the left side of the screen and 0 for Y means that she's on the bottom so that would put her right here now let's turn 40 degrees so that she's pointing in the right direction to draw this mountain so to do that go to movement and pull out the turn block and drag that right under there and we're gonna make it 40 now let's leave a trail so let's make the color white and the width 600 and the length which is how much she moves to 1000 and let's take a look at that okay that's great but it's a little slow so let's speed bird up by adding one more block before this called set speed so this way when she draws it's just gonna be really fast so let's set that to 9 trillion again. So to fill out the bottom of this mountain we need to move Bird down whilst leaving a thick white trail again. So to move down we need to change Y. So unlike move forward which goes in the direction your character is pointed, change Y always means up or down regardless of where your character is just turned. Positive numbers means going up and negative numbers means going down. So let's go down by 600 or change Y by negative 600. So in movement, find change Y, pull out that block, and type in negative 600. Now put this in the leave a trail block right after that move forward. So this is the next part of her trail. And it's also going to be white and 600 thick. So now, if you test that out, you should have a fully drawn mountain. Beautiful. So lastly, Let's make sure Bird disappears after she's drawn all this so she's not in the snowboarder's way. And we do that by setting invisibility. So you can find invisibility in appearance, which is the green tab. Now find set invisibility and drag that out after all of this and set it to 100. So 
100% invisible means that she is completely invisible. If you put zero here, that means that she would be clearly visible. So just to keep that in mind, it seems a little counterintuitive. Great, so we've made our background, it's beautiful, now let's make our snow border. So go back to the character menu, remember that's the plus symbol next to play, and let's pull out a text object because our snow border is going to be an emoji. So if you have the emoji keyboard enabled on your iPad, you should see a smiley face or globe symbol next to your space bar. If you don't, you should watch our video on getting emoji, which you can find on our YouTube channel. So pause the video now to do that. Great, so hopefully now you have the emoji keyboard enabled. So you can tap on this symbol here and go to the bell symbol in the center of the bottom tab and scroll through the pages until you find the snow border emoji. Great. Now she's pretty small, so let's make her bigger. So add a new rule to snow border. When the play button is tapped, and let's grow snow border by 200%. So appearance, pull out grow by, and then 200%. Great. Now, let's teach her to be able to move around by tilting your iPad. And we want her to do this all the time, not just in the beginning. So in order to do something all the time, we have to use a special tool called Repeat Forever. So you can find this in your control flow, which is that blue tab. So open that up, and you'll find a re Repeat Forever block. So pull that out. Now anything inside this block will happen forever. Once it goes through, it'll go back, and then it'll loop again. So we want her to tilt left and right and up and down. So remember, when I said change Y meant up and down when we were drawing our mountain, well, likewise, change X means moving left and right. So let's pull the change X block out. So that's movement, and then go to change X and pull that out. So by default, it's suggesting 300. And if we went with that, then snowboarder would always move to the right 300 until she hit the wall. Instead, we want her to move by a number that can change based on something we do. So we're going to use something called values. So you notice that next to calculator, there's that value tab. Tap on that. Now we're in a menu that has different options for snowboarder. So next to the snowboarder, you'll see a gray arrow. Tap on that, and now we're in the iPad's values. And one of those values is called tilt right percent. And that's what we want. So drag that into the change X block. Great. So what you've just done is told snowboarder that as you tilt right, she will move left and right accordingly. So let's see what that looks like. So you can't see this, but I'm tilting my iPad left and right, and she's moving based on that. So that number keeps changing. And it's beautiful. Awesome. So let's do the same thing for up and down. So drag out a change Y by block and go to values and go to the iPad's values and find tilt down percent. And likewise, if we tilt our iPad up and down, then snowboarder will move up and down accordingly. So let's take a look. Awesome. So now she can move in any direction based on the way you tilt your iPad. Isn't that cool? Now let's make our tree, which is going to be the obstacle that snowboarder has to avoid. And so we're going to have this tree appear in the bottom left corner and move up to the top right corner and then disappear and then reappear in that bottom left corner and do all that over again. So it looks like multiple trees are passing by snowboarder as she snowboards down this mountain. So first let's pull out a new text object, go to emojis and find the pine tree, which should be under the flower tab, which I guess just means nature emoji. Great, so find that, awesome. So first, much like snowboarder, we're gonna make this emoji bigger. So let's make a new rule. When the project is started, grow by 300. And what we want is for the tree to move from this side of the screen to this side, and then regenerate and do it again. So to do that, we're going to turn it a little and move it forward all the way to here. So let's pull out a turn block and set it to 30. 
And now let's place it in this area using set position so that before it moves across the screen it appears in this corner. So let's make x random from 0 to 400 and y 0. So what this means is it's going to show up either here or here or here every time it's going to show up somewhere on this line. And this places it in this general area. Then we want the tree to move across the screen to this corner. So because it's already tilted at a 30 degree angle, when we say move forward, it's going to move diagonally. So we pull out move forward and we'll make the length 1200. Great. Now we need to get it to teleport back to this corner once it's gone to the end. So to do that, after it's moved, we'll have it disappear when it reaches the end of the screen. So to do that, we have to add set invisibility. So drag out a set invisibility block and set it to 100. So now once all this has happened, we want to tell the tree to do it over again. In other words, to repeat this forever. So you guessed it, we got to use a repeat forever block. So go to control flow and find repeat forever and drag this block out here and all these others we're going to drag into the repeat forever loop. So the order should be set position, move across screen, become invisible, repeat. But notice that since it's invisible, once it repeats, we're not going to see it again because it's invisible, right? So after it sets position, let's make it visible again. So set invisibility to zero. Drag that out and put it right after set position. Great. So now sometimes the tree hits the wall before it's finished moving that full 1200 and it just hangs out on the side like that. So let's add another rule that has it disappear the instant it hits the wall. And we want to specify that it's the right wall. So add a new rule to the tree and find bumps in the WENS menu, which should be under More. So tap More, find Bumps, and pick When Tree Bumps Wall. And when the tree bumps the wall, in order to make sure it's not just any wall, because we only want it to do this when it's the right wall, we have to check how far to the right of the screen it is. So find Check Once If, which you can find under Control Flow and then you're going to have a menu that says equal to, bigger than, smaller than, so pick bigger than because what we're looking for is if its X position is bigger than 700. The idea being that if it's bigger than 700 it must be so far to the right that the only wall it's hitting is the right wall. So in order to find X position we have to go to values and there it is, X position. So plug that in and then it's got to be bigger than 700. So once we check to see if it's the right wall, which is what all this has just said, then we make the tree invisible, which is just the easy block of set invisibility to 100. Perfect. Okay, finally, one last move. Let's have the snowboarder tumble when she bumps into a tree. Don't worry, she's got her helmet on. Always remember, by the way, to wear a helmet, even when you're coding. So tap on the snowboarder, and let's give her a new rule. So in the WENS menu, let's find bumps into, and let's pick snowboarder and tree. So when snowboarder bumps tree, we want her to do this tumble. So then now we're in here. All we have to do is have her turn two full rotations. So if you know about degrees, you know that 360 degrees is one full rotation. So times that by two, and that's 720. So that's two full turns. So that's the only block you need. You just turn by 720. Great. So now you know the basics for making a snowboarder game. And you can add more obstacles if you like, like a snowman or a treasure chest or a cat. I mean, you can pick whatever you want. Basically, you now have the template to make any kind of racing or downhill or driving game. So play around and make your own thing. Good luck.